A seventh grade. This is just a little bit on your. <coughs> sorry. Just a little bit on your language lesson that is due for Friday, April the 3rd, lesson 11. Lesson 11, the beginning of it talks about reading with expression, finding a story. So I imagine that you're going to run into some of this in the next couple of lessons. Unfortunately, if we were all together here, we would... I would get you to do that in front of the class. You would pick a book, and this is just a children's book, okay? It gives you a list of titles. Just any interesting, fun children's book uh, is what you would be doing. So you would, if we were all together here, you would have a chance to get up and read a story to us. It has to do with reading with expression, uh, reading well, reading clearly, reading distinctly. So you won't have a chance to practice that in front of the class here, but I would recommend, okay, I'm not going to force you to do this, but I recommend, and probably some of you already do it, you read to younger siblings, okay, read to your brothers and sisters. When you read to your little brothers and sisters, read well, use expression, exaggerate expression, make it fun, make it interesting, use different voices, all right, different tonal uh, inflection in your voices and things like that. Make it interesting. Don't, don't just sit there, you know, with them around you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, soon they'll get bored and leave. Maybe that's what you're trying to do. But this would be a good time now that you are mostly at home. All right. We're not going to church. We're not going to school. We're getting bored because we're not seeing our friends. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, Linda and I kind of consider ourselves to be homebodies. We like to be at home. Uh, we like for it to just be... Linda and I and Ellie, we like, yeah, we like hanging out with family, but you don't think about it when you actually, when it's basically just family, when you're not going to church, you're not going to school, uh, you can't do those things. Uh, it, it, it's amazing how buggy you get, not necessarily maybe buggy with each other, but just because you don't have the interaction with other people. So I would recommend if you have little brothers and sisters, read to them. All right, and read well, just intentionally practice reading well with expression, read clearly, make it interesting. You could entertain your mom when she's cooking or cleaning. All right, you have a lot of time at home now. Sit in the kitchen while your mom is working and read to her. Just fun children's books, all right? Uh, you could also read to cooperative older brothers and sisters just for the fun of it, all right? So I recommend that you do some of that. Parents, uh, encourage them to do that if you see this video at all. All right, make sure lesson 11 is done for tomorrow. Let's go over for Friday. Let's go over the spelling words, words about agriculture. Well, then you should know most of these then, right? Hybrid has to do with your kinds of seeds. Poultry, most of you should be very familiar with. There's quite a bit of poultry in the area here. Chemicals, harrow, equipment, agriculture, sorghum. It's a certain crop. Look it up. Erosion has to do with your soil washing away. Pesticide. Anything that you spray or you use to get rid of any kind of pest, just the general pesticide, weeds, insects, diseases, drought, conservation, acreage, nutrients, legume, fallow, rural, heifer, mulch, silage, arable. Those are your words for the next few lessons. Please have lesson 11 finished for tomorrow. Have a good day. Have fun reading to your family. Sorry, not done yet. I was gonna mention uh, reading. Be keeping up with reading, please, okay? I'm not gonna mention it much. Uh, follow your schedule. All of you have a schedule. That schedule is for you to look at and read and follow, kind of like the board, when I had all the assignments on the board, right? 
They were there. You can see it. Be responsible, please. So lessons 13, 14, and 15 should be done, should have been done this week. 15 is due for uh, Friday the 3rd. So 13, 14, and 15, those are your last lessons in book six, uh, 704, right? So you'll be ready to start with your last book. The test for this uh, book will be on Monday. It will be an open book test. Whatever resources you need to do well in that test, you may use. And I will remind you of that Monday morning. All right, good day.